What's up, everybody? James Duggan here with John Ryan. Hi. So, we're going to check out an upgraded base. As you can see, I'm 100%. Uh, that's a lot of hundreds. Yeah. That's like a 300% capacity base right now. Welcome to Cribs Manhattan Division Edition. Oh, man. Uh, so, do you have here a, it is. Do you have a playroom with, like, uh, pool table and foosball and stuff? You know what? We kind of, we have a lot of Christmas trees. It's eternally Christmas in the division. I mean, that's wonderful. That's delightful. So, basically, when you upgrade all three of your wings, you get various perks, uh, talents, and skills. And some of the perks um, manifest themselves in the form of interactable pieces for your base, such as this. A lot of the times, that weapon part, which refreshes every three hours or so, will give me a... Uh, legendary or a high-end crafting piece, which is Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's super handy. Also, I'm just going to point this out. Uh, your base is way cleaner than mine. Yeah, it's so clean. I don't, I don't know what perk that was that hired like a cleaning the crew. No trash but, perk. Uh, so you saw there, there was a little um, supply box that'll give you an aesthetic item every once in a while. Here we have an appearance vendor. This is from the supply line, and uh, she will sell you various things, most notably uh, spray paints, which Ooh. I. But she only sells a few, and um, you have to check back every so often. But I have purchased most of them. Now we get into the important stuff. This uh, particular vendor, the advanced weaponry vendor from the armory, um, is very good. And in fact, I purchased my main weapon from here, which is this uh, RPK light machine gun. Um, excellent use of your credits because this is a named high end. So it's guaranteed to have these certain roles. Um, and a couple of buddies have been crafting high ends and have not get, gotten anywhere near the awesomeness that is this particular gun. Yeah, also, it's, really it's just handy gold. Yeah. Uh, what that's are the cool. what are the buffs on that? Uh, we got reloads 13% faster. That's whatever. Uh, armor destruction value increased by 18%, and then also uh, elite and named enemies take 13% more damage. So basically, if you're attacking an NPC, which you will be doing a lot of in the hard and yeah. challenge mode encounters and uh, missions, you're going to be doing like an additional 25% damage, which is great. Cool. So that is the. Security wing. Let's head up to the tech wing, which is the second most interesting. Actually, maybe the first most interesting because of the recalibration mm, station. This, now, this is a, a section that I've recently unlocked, but I haven't really played around with a whole lot. So if you've played Diablo 3 and you're familiar with the, the idea of re-rolling um, just an attribute, that's yep. basically what you do. So you select an item here. I'm not going to do it, but basically, let's say I, I wasn't into stamina. I was trying to hit a certain um, weapons point. Uh, cap to get a talent and a weapon. I would reroll this, and then here's the possible recalibration options. So then it would give me a list of like three to five. Hey, you can have 430 electronics. You could have this firearm roll, and then if you're not happy with that, you can reroll it again. But it gets exponentially more expensive when you do it on the same item. Cool. So it's really worth it for a gear that you just picked up and you kind of need to have a certain attribute on it. Again, yeah. But um, it actually takes. Uh, what are those things called? Phoenix credits to reroll high-end gear. Ooh. So there's definitely a, a sink there in terms of gear. Uh, here we have a guy who sells stuff for Phoenix credits. He sells this nice LMG, which is not as good as uh, Pecan, but still pretty good. He's got these operator pads. Um, so there there's some stuff in terms of sinking uh, your like just regular credits, your Dark Zone money, as well as your Phoenix credits. Uh, and then, of course, there are these kind of useless boxes, but hey, they're whatever. Well, I mean, they're free crafting materials that you can turn into higher end gear. That's true. That's very true. Uh, all right, let's check out the medical wing. And also, like, all of these rooms open up. It's a really interesting uh, and rewarding progression system that doesn't just reward you mechanically as well as, like, gear-wise, but it kind of rewards you uh, thematically. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes, you know, you are in the process of rebuilding the city, so it would make sense that your base of operations needs to be fully functional. So funny story, and I actually don't have footage to back this up, but before my game bugged out, and these characters appeared before I unlocked the pediatric care, but they were all just sitting on garbage. <laughs> there was just garbage all over here, and the doctor was, like, writing on a box. I don't know That's, if that was... I mean, they were just getting ready. <laughs> getting ready to be taken care of. It's a very long waiting room here at my base. Those children know nothing but garbage. That's true. Now that the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the virus happens. That's, that's so. depressing to know. To, well, they'll never remember life as it was. That's, that's their life now, is garbage. Exactly. So there's... Uh, there's also a fabric thing here. The medical wing doesn't really have anything super cool. Like, you have the recalibration station and the vendors uh, and the other wings. But it is worth noting that you do upgrade your uh, contamination protection. Oh, yeah. This is this is just huge in terms of, like, perks and talents and things like that. I think that the medical wing is probably the most widely applicable wing in terms of perks, talents, and abilities. But the other two are no slouch either. Yeah. Um, and I've actually found myself jumping between abilities a lot. So that is a look at all of the functional areas. Um, you also have this crafting station. You have Fei Lao over here yelling at you and About taking nothing. credit 
for all of the things you do. Um, and then over here, it's all just aesthetic for now. <gasps> There's a movie over here. Oh, it's a talkie film. Oh, man, one of the motion pictures with Look the at sound. That. It's a two, 240p. Wow, that's amazing. I'm curious as to why they're watching Buster Keaton movies and not, like, <laughs> The Day After Tomorrow or something. Probably probably rights in terms of what they could get. Oh, hey, yeah. look what I found the other day. Just com completely quick aside, it's the first incursion. <gasps> look at that. It's, it's It says, on, coming soon in a free update. Cool. Um, so for more things in terms of what you can do when you hit level 30, hard modes, challenge modes, and dark zone guides, you guys are already in the right place at IGN.